Alright, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as you can see here, it's official. Um, Icy has officially been let go by Rise. Uh, he did mention earlier that uh, he did retire and stuff. Um, let's look at the stats here, what it says. Gears Pro League split one first. Um, can't really see, that's unfortunate due to Twitter, but... There's probably some cool things in there that was like first for him what he accomplished under Rise. Um, <coughs> he didn't win a chip under them. Uh, he is a two-time champ when it matters the most in this game, uh, which was on LAN. Um, I think there was only three LAN events, so that's very well... Uh, accomplished and earned for icy um uh, and uh, we're going to be very sad to see him go uh, obviously he's pursuing pursuing in uh, halo with kenny back with his uh, championship teammate so we'll see what happens there uh, another big announcement here is um lava t1 uh he says due to many things i've decided to retire and take a break from Gears Esports. I'm not allowed to com compete this split. would like to thank all my teammates and people who made this whole journey possible for me. There's simply too many to name until next time, Gears fam. So he, he honestly didn't really want to quit or retire, but um, it's pretty well known that that Outcast roster uh, got split up due to... Um, Basically, I'm going to say this uh, is what I, I'm i assuming uh, since if you guys have uh, been watching the streams with the wagers lately, uh, Bronny's been playing with KCP. So does that mean Precision's going to Halo now? Uh, who knows? Uh, but due to Bronny leaving this team, <coughs> I think... Uh, it's pretty well known that they're done. Um, I think because Cells, the moment Bronny left, he f I guess these guys didn't feel they were good enough to compete, and they quit. Because they could have kept this leak spot with the three of them, I'm pretty sure. But who knows. Um, in the meantime, I've been focusing on other things like NFTs and games I actually enjoy grinding. The new COD and Halo don't appeal to me, but Valorant always has. No promises, but maybe I'll start streaming that consistently. Been on the verge of Immortal for too long. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, and everyone here telling him that he's a goat and stuff. And all that kind of good stuff. So we're going to go over here. And we're going to wipe this team out. Uh, was it outcast completely <sighs> we're gonna put a decision I think he's 100% in halo now <laughs> and uh, lava as well so in the retired section um, I'm gonna move precision I uh, feel like it's maybe this is not guaranteed everyone he could be on rise or kcp obviously in his situation kcp should be the choice um another thing here is this roster here of toady dyslexic exploits and fiercely um remember guys uh one of the videos we saw fiercely said it was like the last ride um and that this team was splitting up um i'm assuming that these guys toady and exploits they wanted to go into halo and some of these guys tried it out as well but i feel like some of these players are going to be joining like your united and maybe your rise or something like that and 
maybe even um, PK. Because I think uh, Chaos has been dropped for one of those players. So who knows. But um, PK is on that direction of what I was like thinking of what would make them a great team and say if they picked up dyslexic or fiercely in my opinion they're one player away from I think being the best team in the game um, and as sad as it sounds and he's the captain of the team in Desenide I think um, in the near future Dyslexic should be on this team, and they would have enough slang power um, to be able to take down the giants of the game. And I guess what better way to end off the season with finally a LATAM team winning? But who knows? They got to, I don't know, remove the mindset of the choke mentality. And to be honest, this guy's been in the finals, I don't know how many times, and just folds when it matters the most. So, that's just, just my opinion. If this is true with Noble breaking up, and they picked up Dyslexic or Fearsley, whatever the case may be, um, yeah, it's just, that's what I think what's going to happen. Um, a new roster in the works here is, from my understanding, is we have Vino, the Waggy, or I don't even know how you, why he called him, like, that's just a weird game attack. We got Almighty's, which is Reliant, and then, because of that other team, um, we got Yachty here as well. So, <coughs> this team has a lot of potential, has a lot of firepower. I think they can do great things, and if they have a good coach, I think this, to teach them what they need to learn and understand, and hopefully, you know, these guys drop their egos, because they are young, besides Yachty. Um, it's just... Who knows? Who knows what uh what will happen? I'm pretty sure this team has broken up. I don't think this is a team anymore, but we'll find out uh, next week as well. Um, so yeah, I think this roster here as well as um the TPH roster due to Elcast um not being in the league anymore. And if this is true and Noble disbanded, um, I feel like F and I and this TPH team are going to be in the Pro League now, which means like there's a lot more weaker teams. So we're going to see a lot of like top of the top teams. So say, yeah, and just there's going to be a lot more top-heavy teams than more competitive teams. So there's that. Um, another big thing from former Gears uh, GOAT and Explosive. He says, Summons is really the last Optic Gears alumni standing. Shit's crazy. A brotherhood. I always cherish in this life. So there's that. Um, funny thing here in... Uh, Captain Barbosa. I never got to say I'm retiring from Gears Esports years ago. I never wanted to. I was just not wise enough to know what needed to be done. I figured I'd do this while everyone is retiring. Maybe, maybe, maybe we do a reunion event, though. So this is interesting here. It'd be cool to see if there would be a reunion event. Um, this is the guy that helped, um, you know, make those hype festation events. Um, I don't know why this guy was never given the opportunity to do those things under coalition, just like what Tashi's doing with Halo. I think he would have been a great uh, community guy for our, um, 
our eSport. Like, I don't know. I just, like I said, the, the higher-ups up there, just I just don't understand as well. Um, summons response to Gilbert's uh, tweet. Hashtag green wall forever. <coughs> um, here's a nice, cool little video here. Uh, these guys like making the armor for gears. Maybe these are these guys are the guys that are making the armor pieces for you know the actual movie. Who knows? But I thought it was pretty cool to show to you guys. Um, I think it's just really really cool. Um, you guys can let me know in the comment section down below if you think it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, Blue Whale Studios. So there's that. Um, moving on, Valley, uh, former analyst in Gears, and now he's like esports awards analyst, finalist from multiple games. He's been very successful now, leaving Gears. That's like always the, seems to be the big thing now. Um, he says, "I really miss Gears One. I wish the series followed the mechanics of Gao Wei." Um, Fade Strike would have been the best timeline. No one cares. Plus, you fell off. Plus, hold this L plus f ratio. <laughs> He's just f trolling him. Um, this is how I feel, to be honest. It is what it is. Um, the sad thing is, is with the new generation and the old, the old generation, we're never going to get this because new generation likes bouncing around and think that's the the proper way of playing the game and it's just facts so that's why I probably will never play the game as much as I used to because it's not enjoyable um, you guys can let me know in the comment section down below how you feel um, this um, yeah he's no longer on that team because I saw this team here as well. Um, <coughs> yeah, I think that's about it. I wonder w what really is the um, rest of the LATAM scene. Uh, it seems like these guys all like retire from playing or whatnot. But I think this could have been a good team as well in the AM scene. Um, but that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy and uh, peace.